Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new drama, The Unknown Country. And this is a small 85-minute drama from director Marissa Maltz with a story credit for Lily Gladstone, who stars in this film. Lily Gladstone, so hot right now. What a year she's having, and Maltz wrote this film specifically as well. And Gladstone portrays this young woman who's grieving, has been through loss, and winds up going on this lonely road trip and along the way connecting with all likes of people and who come from all different kinds of backgrounds. And this film is very loose, narratively. There's no big story beats, necessarily. Really, the only truly significant one happens towards the end of the film that is the emotional anchor to the film and Gladstone's character's journey. But generally, we just get to experience Gladstone's journey many times alone in a car processing her feelings, other times experiencing the wonderful, beautiful landscapes of America. Andrew Hajek, who is the cinematographer, helps capture just the absolute beauty of this country. But the most interesting thing about this film is that she has small moments with different characters, and in a pseudo-documentarian kind of way, it cuts away, and you hear from these people. You, they're being interviewed by a nondescript narrator who we never hear. It's basically the camera sneaks into their lives, and we see from their perspective how they see the world, how they experience the world, and how it might be different than how Gladstone's character perceived them, per se, in those moments. And it's beautiful because it captures the beauty and the uniqueness of America. This film captures the beauty of America, all while this lonely, grieving young woman experiences all of it the people, the landscapes, and just society in general, especially in the more open and sparse places in this country. This film has just this poignant authenticity that kind of layers across the top of it, and it all leads up to such beautiful, emotional beats towards the end of the film that anchors this film in a way that is very poignant and very moving. This might not be the most intriguing in terms of its narrative, but it captures character as in people. It captures the uniqueness and the beauty of our uniqueness in this country, and I feel like this film carries you on an emotional journey that is certainly worth the modest 85-minute commitment that this film turns out to be. But those are my thoughts on The Unknown Country. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.